Excuse me one minute. Now, I'm a little bit upset. Not the first time. For what? The plan is there on some. There's nothing in the booklet about the justice system, how the poor are being treated. No right to a lawyer. Uh, if they happen to go and do something wrong, serve weekends, no provincial jail in Fredericton, uh, something like that. They, they, they take advantage of the people with mental disability. Uh, there's no proper lawyer. I mean, I showed up at that meeting and voiced my objection about the justice system and the board. Nothing, nothing is... Maybe, maybe, maybe you want to ask a little poll. I don't know. It could be maybe underlined under one item that I don't know. We'll ask Leo Pond. Yeah, because no, no. Like there's, there's the, what he presented today is the pillars. And under each pillar, there will be different activities and different items that will need to be the law. So it might be underneath one of the pillars. But the, judge, the poor has no... Yeah. There's no... And they say you don't have the right yeah. to a lawyer because it's a summary conviction. And the next thing you know, they make you sign conditions. And then... Then if you plead guilty, you don't have the right to a lawyer, and then if you plead guilty, you break the condition. Yeah. Uh, and then you're, you know, I mean, th yeah. there's no, there's nothing in there. That's very, very important, especially our youth. And if you uh, write a... In terms of mental health, though, there is a process and a place to see how we can, the justice system can better deal with the people who are mental health. Remember last year when you have, it's, it's a, a four, there's four departments are involved. I was in health when I've done that. It's a mental health strategy. And the Department of Health, there was the Department of Education, Public Safety, and uh, Justice. Yeah. And uh, they all together try to find ways to prevent people to go in front of the court because to make sure that they have the proper care and not necessarily be dealt only by the justice system to end up in jail. Yeah. So that process is already in place. It was part of the mental health strategy. Because they just say, well, just plead guilty, you'll be out of here in five minutes. But I'm not guilty. Well, can you yeah. afford a lawyer? No. Yeah. Well, plead guilty, you'll be out of here. And you don't have the right to legal aid to a lawyer because you, you're not going to go to jail. But the secret is, once you uh, plead, okay, plead guilty, you're on probation, and then you break the probation, then you go to jail. But you're not guilty in the first place, but they won't give you a lawyer. And this is a major problem we're having here in New Brunswick. I know it's money. I know it costs money. And we're not even allowed to ride a bicycle with on a helmet. Yeah, but this, I, I, I don't. This, wow! You just give me a headache. No, <laughs> just, kidding, just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Le Brian. Le Brian. Le Brian. For the helmet. And I thought you were going to put me in a bear hug there when I mentioned that your facial expression changed. <laughs> you don't have to film me. It's all. It's all in my blog anyway. No, no. But you no, know, But the bottom line is education, and the poor. We're the fattest people in Canada, and you're a poor person. You can't afford a bicycle helmet, and you can't exercise. And in Quebec, you could exercise. So why those Moody Quebecois allowed to exercise? You, I'm all wound up. I'm going to take my Ritalin and calm down before I get an uppercut across the head there. <laughs> all right. The, 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 like the helmet thing. Yeah. Okay. For me, that is it's really important. The legislation is in place. You can shut that up. Frank, oh,